Diseases have a serious impact on people's health. Particularly, allergies are one of the most common problems. It's said that about one-fourth of the Japanese population suffers from cedar pollinosis. People who have food allergies sometimes experience an adverse reaction to certain foods. In Japan, milk, eggs, and flour are the big three food allergens, and buckwheat and peanuts may also cause an adverse reaction. So they are required to be displayed as ingredients on food labels. In the United States, milk, eggs, fish, and peanuts are included in the big eight food allergens. It is a serious social problem. A certain pharmaceutical company is striving to help create an allergy-free society. They are working on a next-generation vaccine development project. We have followed the ongoing new drug development project conducted in Chicago, Illinois, United States. He is Mr. Tomohiro Kusawaki, who is working to relieve allergy patients. We observe the cutting edge drug development project that can change the world. This is the story about the passion and innovation of new drug development. Astellas Pharma is located in Chuoku, Tokyo. In 2005, two pharmaceutical companies, Yamanochi and Fujisawa, merged to create Astellas. They research and develop innovative and reliable pharmaceutical products. They're aiming to be on the forefront of healthcare change. Particularly, they focus on the areas of oncology, urology, and immunology to develop new drugs. Approximately 2,900 people are focused on research and development to build the future of health. Additionally, 200 billion yen is invested in research and development annually. There is more than one department focused on the development of new drugs. Functions such as drug discovery research, technology, development, and regulatory affairs are also dedicated to that area. While the challenges of new drug development are presently increasing, they strengthen their ability to deliver new drugs, leveraging not only their own expertise, but also the innovations of external partners. The new drug development process takes time. It takes five to eight years for drug discovery research and non-clinical study, three to seven years for clinical trials, and one to two years for new drug application filings. In total, it typically takes nine to 17 years to deliver a new drug to patients. In October 2015, a newspaper article captured attention. It announced that Astellas expanded a partnership with a biotechnology venture in the U.S. They have partnered to develop and commercialize next-generation vaccines to treat cedar pollinosis, and then decided to expand the targets to other allergies. They incorporate external innovations to strengthen their advantage in the research, development, and provision of new drugs. It is a part of their efforts to deliver innovative pharmaceutical products to patients. This is the research center of Astellas in Scuba, Ibaraki. Research of the next generation vaccine will be started here soon. This vaccine will prevent various allergic diseases. 
the primary medical treatment for allergies today is suppressing symptoms. They forged a partnership with the biotechnology venture, Immunomic Therapeutics Incorporated, for a DNA vaccine platform, which is expected to be the next generation vaccine for allergies. For instance, it is said that about 25% of the Japanese population copes with cedar pollenosis. The next generation vaccine for that disease has entered the first stage of clinical study through the research and non-clinical study. To commercialize the research product, the project is pursued across divisions and countries. As cedar pollenosis is the most common allergy in Japan, there are also various common allergies in each region around the world. That being said, it is necessary to develop a product to address the different allergies common in each region. Chicago is a city that faces one of the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan. The next generation vaccine for an allergic disease is in development there. The project leader is Ms. Leticia Delgado Herrera. Um, here at Stellas, it's, it's a pharmaceutical industry, so what we actually do is bring products to um, patients um, in all categories. But our areas of expertise have been um, urology, transplant, um, immunology, infectious disease. Recently, we have embarked on um, the vaccine arena, and the peanut allergy program is one of them. So we're using this Lambax technology to bring um, treatment for patients who suffer of allergies disease. Peanut allergies are an issue in the U.S. Even a small amount of peanuts may cause anaphylaxis, which is an acute and serious allergic reaction. There are an estimated 1.5 million patients in the U.S. Allergic diseases, including peanut allergies, are a serious social issue with a huge human impact in the U.S. Um, and it's very devastating because it's a very severe life-threatening disease where there is a, a huge uh, medical needs. The University of Chicago Medicine. This hospital is making a strong effort to care for children suffering from allergies. So I'm just going to take a listen, mm -hmm. see how we're doing. Okay, listen real quick, buddy. Hold my hand. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Can you give Chacho a high five? Yeah. All right, good boy. Dr. Chacho is a specialist okay. in the U.S. who is working hard to fight allergic um, diseases. Can I give you, have you written this consent form? It's, um... We're very worried about accidental ingestions. Uh, we've made a lot of changes to the way we label food in the United States to uh, try and help, um, but unfortunately, people still do have accidental ingestions. So if someone accidentally eats a peanut and they're peanut allergic, then they are likely to start vomiting. Uh, they may break out in hives all over their body. Uh, they may start wheezing, and our concern is that their throat may close. Dr. Chacho says that infants with a restricted intake of allergen-exposed foods might have weakened immune systems. That means the number of children with allergies has increased. Wonderful. Uh, children today are being born with a propensity to develop allergy. Uh, the only options are to avoid peanuts, and we recommend that everyone carry an EpiPen to be safe. Yes, it's our top priority. We absolutely recognize that it um, is very important to get a treatment to families with peanut allergy as soon as possible. Ideally, we'd love to live in a world that is free of food allergy. Um, however, we're not sure that's a realistic goal. 
peanut allergies are so severe that peanuts are required to be displayed on food labels in Japan as well. He is Mr. Tomohiro Kusawake, the project manager in the development project management for the next generation vaccine for peanut allergies.食物アレルギーというのは、あの、特にお子さんに多い疾患なんですけれども、その患者数は毎年増えてきているhe transferred to the U.S. in June 2015. Before that, he was working in Japan on clinical studies for 11 years. He started his career with the development of an influenza vaccine, and before moving to the U.S., worked to start the clinical study of a next-generation vaccine for cedar polynosis. When the clinical study started, he took on new tasks. Now he is working hard, supported by colleagues in the project management department, of which he is a new member. He is in charge of global planning and managing the next generation vaccine project for peanut allergies. He is preparing clinical trials in humans for confirmation of safety. To realize the goal, he is collaborating on the global development project with the research, technology and manufacturing, development and marketing functions, as well as the venture who instituted this innovation. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, um, yes. The most important thing is to deliver the new drug for which patients are waiting as soon as possible. He's going to proceed with non-clinical and clinical trials with the project team formed with members from the company's research, technology and manufacturing, development and sales functions. He will prepare the required data and submit an application to the FDA for approval. That is a kind of task to connect the dots of each function for smooth progress. He is now collaborating with research to prepare all required data to begin the clinical trial. We spoke to an experienced project manager who has been working for development for 10 years in the U.S. クロ Although he is busy in the office today, he drives to the laboratory in the suburbs to meet his colleagues.今日は今からスコーキーというところにあるあのアステラスのラボに行きます。特に
プロジェクトマネージャーがコミュニケーションをミスると思う最悪なんで「コミュニケーション is important for new drug development」he says The laboratory of Estellus Research Institute of America is 30 minutes away from his office. Research, including studies on vaccines for allergies, are conducted here. Hi, Chip. How are you? Hi, Jimmy. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Thank you for coming to the lab. Appreciate you coming here. Thank you. Please, let's go this way. Thank you. <laughs> Blood tests are required during a clinical study to confirm the efficacy and safety of the drug. Today, they discuss the place, method, and conditions of the blood test, as well as the deadline to establish the test method. During the meeting, they agreed on the blood test schedule. Tomorrow will be another busy day. New drug development is not easy. Collaboration with several departments is required. Kusawake keeps checking to see if they can prepare the investigational new drugs properly and examinations for the clinical study. He is managing everything to start. In the U.S., the lunch environment is different than it is in Japan. Out of demand. <laughs> and, uh, you know, plus there's always stuff at home. It has been only six months since he moved to Chicago. He proactively communicates with people here, too. シカゴ海がないんであんまり魚を食べないんですねなんであのだとやっぱりお肉が美味しいんで毎日ハンバーガーとかピザとかそういうのばっかり食べてたんでもう今来て6ヶ月で5キロ食べました普段仕事してるとその自分のプロジェクトのメンバーとしか喋らないんであのこうやって昼のランチとかでこう普段のあの仕事と違うメンバーとコミュニケーションをとってでその時にこう私生活のところでアメリカのと日本の文化の違いとかで驚くようなことが結構あるのであの例えば昨日こんなことがあったけどこれはアメリカでは普通なのかとかこういう時どうしたらいいのとかそういう話を聞いたりとかこの時間すごい貴重な時間です。Because the ability to speak English is crucial for him to perform his best, he went to an English conversation class after work. Joining a club or... Okay, But gotcha. you can use it for team. You mm -hmm. know, the team of... Have a chat with my colleagues, mm -hmm. so... Kusawake is living in a suburb of Chicago with his wife and two children. <laughs> Aren't they uneasy in the unfamiliar environment? So, this is a very good story. まあ、若い頃はいつかこう海外で生活したいなと思ったので、まあ、夫がこうやって、ね、あの来てくれたのはちょっといいタイミングで,でした。The time with his children also encourages him.
平日は結構仕事で子供に会えない日も多いんで極力土日は子供と一緒に遊ぶようにしてます知り合いのお母さんとかあと会社の同僚とかでもアレルギーを持っておられるお子さん結構多くてですねそういう方とお話ししてて今度そのアレルギーの薬開発担当するんだみたいな話をした時にすごくこう,もう絶対頑張ってほしいというようなあの言葉をたくさんいただきます。子供を持つまであまりその食物アレルギーって気にしたことが正直なかったんですけどもやっぱりこう実際子供ができてこうお友達のお子さんと一緒に遊んでる時にこうご飯を一緒に食べてる時にちょっとアレルギーがあるからこれ食べれないんだみたいな話を聞くとあーなんか大変だなと思ったりでこう一緒にみんなで同じものを食べれなかったりする時に何かこうなんとかしてあげたいなっていうのはやっぱり思いますね。元気、絶好調です。ゆうさん、あれは。they came to the supermarket in the neighborhood。it is not the same as the supermarket in japan。スーパーにね、あの。来ると、どこもすごく広いんで。時間がかかります、買い物に。で自分の買いたいものを忘れた時にもうすごい遠くまで戻れなくちゃいけなくなったりとかっていうのがあるんですねあんまり時間が持たないんで実際売ってるものも日本と種類が変わってくるのでこう自分が好きな日本で子どもたちが好きで食べてたものと同じような味のものを探すのにすごくこうどれがいいのか一個ずつ試してみたりしてそういうのに時間がかかりました。意外と日本のものが売ってたり<笑>そうですねあのこっちもピーナッツが入っていればピーナッツが入っているよというのはあの日本と同じように表示義務があると思います。はい It is not unusual to be surprised by the American lifestyle. And tomorrow, the tight schedule will start again. The children are safe to be able to get the food from the allergies. The parents are safe to be able to get the food from the allergies. So, I hope that the light will be able to get the light. Today, the members of the venture from Pennsylvania, which has developed the vaccine platform, visited him at the office. Hi, c h e f s a n How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi, nice to see you again. Thank you for coming. Hi, nice to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your time. Okay, let's get started. Uh, thank you for visiting us today. Uh, I'm really so excited that we can work together for this next generation vaccine. I believe on our close communication and collaboration. To initiate the clinical study, the meeting is entering the final stage. Today, he got an email from the laboratory in Skokie. It said that the test method could be done in time as they discussed at the last meeting. He will proceed on schedule without problems. We are working on the plan for three or five years. We are working on the plan for three or five years. We are working on the plan for three or five years. We are working on the plan for three or five years. We are working on the plan for three or five years. He is preparing the clinical study to confirm safety in humans. The trials of phase two and three will follow. His mission will continue until the launch of the new drug. New drug development is a project that takes a very long time. Kusawake will continue to struggle with it.
On the forefront of healthcare change, they turn innovative science into value for patients. That is the mission of a pharmaceutical company. The passion and innovation of new drug development can change healthcare and open the door to the future.